Hi, I'm Jason Kreidner of BeagleBoard.org and Texas Instruments. Um, we're here at Maker Faire showing off uh, different projects from BeagleBoard.org and BeagleBoard.org partners. Um, so in, in this case, I'm showing off uh, the BeagleBone Green, um, which was manufactured by Seed Studio. Um, but it's uh, using the, uh, the BeagleBone Black open hardware design to actually build their own version of it. So that's one of the big things we're showing off here. So what's different about the BeagleBone Green versus the BeagleBone Black is that Seed Studio has included um, their groove connectors so that you can easily connect up uh, to their big library of sensors. Um, they also taken off the HDMI because for a lot of people embedding this, that's not um, such a critical feature. Um, but they've added on a uh, battery so that it doesn't forget the, the, the time when it's running independently. Um, they've also switched to a, a micro USB connector uh, because that's more common for a lot of people to have a micro USB uh, cable and they've taken off the barrel jack because that's one thing that's not uh, as commonly used. Um, so this is going to make it really easy for people to get started with all these sensors and it really helps highlight the fact um, that the BeagleBoard.org is releasing open hardware designs that other people um, can make and they're one of the, the first ones to go out and actually build a different variation of the BeagleBone Black. So people can leverage the BeagleBoard.org um, open hardware designs to build their own variations of the, the BeagleBone Black. Um, they'll leverage the, the, the TI processors and chips that are on there, but the design is completely open for people to do with um, what they'd like. Um, now, and so of course they take responsibility for whatever it is uh, that, they, that they create. Um, so we don't expect them to hold a BeagleBoard or accountable for whatever mistakes that, that they make in the manufacturer design of their boards. Um, but of course, if they do want to participate in the ecosystem, you know, it might be possible for them to, to license the logo and actually you know, participate and run the, you know, the software that's coming out of the um, successful BeagleBoard.org community and all the value that uh, our, our community developers are creating. So this isn't the first time that someone's taken the BeagleBone Black design um, and made a board that's um, you know, carried the, the BeagleBoard.org logo on it. Um, but it is the first time that they've actually gone and did some customizations of that. Um, so that makes it a little bit different. Um, so where people are actually taking the design and remixing it and doing something more targeted towards their users. So there's, there's quite a few boards that have been built from the BeagleBone Black design um, in, in, in different areas, and we've seen some of those up on, on Kickstarter. Um, one of the interesting ones to me is a 3D printer um, controller board uh, that's uh, was based on the BeagleBone Black. It integrates another hardware design coming from our community called the, the Replicate from Elias Bakken. Uh, so somebody in the, in the community has actually gone out and combined those two designs into to one to make a very affordable, um, very high performance 3D printer uh, controller called the FastBot BBP. Um, so we're looking forward to seeing uh, those guys um, succeed and bring that, that product to market. So Maker Faire has just started, but we're already seeing a ton of positive reactions to, um, to seats, um, a BeagleBone Green. Um, a lot of people are looking forward to, to having more, more options for, for getting quickly started um, with especially their, their Internet of Things types of devices. The BeagleBone Green um, will be launched at Maker Faire Shenzhen on uh, June 19th. It'll be roughly in the $50 price range, similar to the BeagleBone Black.